Hi, in this video we're going through how to add a child page to your WordPress website. My name's Dan and this is WP Update. Welcome, my name's Dan, I'm a senior software engineer and full stack WordPress developer with WP Update. In this video we're going through how to add a child page to your WordPress website. So let's head to the WordPress dashboard. Now for this exercise I'll assume you already know how to log in. If not, there's a link in the description below on and that'll take you through how to get into the dashboard on your WordPress website. Once you're there, what we're going to do is add a new page. So over to the left hand side here and then mouse over, mouse over, not click, and then add new. Now if you can't see this but need access, you'll need to contact your website administrator or the website manager to be able to elevate your account so you can. Once you're there, pages and then add new. There we go, and that'll take us to the add new page. Now I'm just going to grab some placeholder text, which we'll use here. It's just off screen there, so paste into there. Just throw in one paragraph and that'll do the job for this. And let's break that up a little bit because it's just a, a whole lot. You can also optionally head over to page and set featured images. And I'm just gonna throw something in from Unsplash. And if you opt to do that, you can just see there, Click that featured image. That is completely optional. You don't need to worry about it if you don't want to. And now comes the fun part. So we're in the page section here. You can scroll down and then click on the parent page area. And that will give you a list of the pages that you have on the site. And what we're going to do is pick the one that we want above this one. So in this case, it's the Lorem Ipsum page that we created in the last exercise. And then once you're done there, hit the publish button. There we go, then hit publish again. Great, and that is done. So now we can view the page, head back out to the front end, and you can see here the page is ready to go. Up the very, very top, we can see the parent page, Lorem Ipsum is the one that's assigned there, and that's gone into the slug. And this is the page that we've just created, of course, using the fake text as the slug, which it does automatically. You'll also notice because we're not using a custom title bar or a custom menu bar, WordPress has automatically added this to the title so people can access it straight away. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Check out the videos on the left for some more WordPress tips. Or if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button and ring the bell. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.